Warning, F-bombs are armed and might be dropped. All right, a little bit about nomenclature. Everybody knows that this is a rifle. Okay. And this is a pistol. Okay. What if I told you that this is also a rifle? Kind of a curious question, right? For the longest time, this would not have been referred to as a rifle, but at, rather as a musket. A long arm with a single ball to come out the barrel. And this would have been a pistol. Also, revolvers would fit under that category. Well, what happened? Well, the rifle is actually in both of these. Right? The rifle is actually in the barrel. It's the grooves have been cut in the inside of the barrel to spin the bullet to make it more accurate. And, by the way, more powerful. So what happened? Well, a common custom just came to be to refer to all rifled muskets as rifles. Okay, well, who cares? Well, who cares is the people that want to reinvent our language. That same common custom has led to them calling this an assault weapon. I assure you it's not. I actually even know vaguely the concept of what would it would take to turn that into an automatic. It's a semi-auto now. And you can find that on the internet. It has something to do with hold, um, holding open a particular pen. Honestly, I, I don't really know enough to know what I don't know, and I don't care, so I don't follow up on it too much. It's really easy, using that common custom thing, to rewrite the language entirely. All right, That's why it's really important now to be specific. Now, am I going to say we need to start calling these muskets? No. No, no, no. That's not going to happen, Tim. Um, am I going to say that we need to start calling the, the riflings lands and grooves, because that is the technical name for the two parts of riflings? No. But there are some terms that we really do need to lock down permanently, and in a way that cannot be circumvented. And that's the important part. During the 90s ban, these were, the ban was being circumvented by referring to these as sporting rifles, or as some other cutesy term. And there actually is some specific differences between sporters and what met the definition of assault weapon at the time. But it's also just as important to finally say, fuck you, we're not going to play this game anymore. We're going to have one definition and one that you can't rewrite in 20 years or 100 years. Or 200 years. It's going to be based on what can this thing do. A jackhammer is a type of hammer, believe it or not. But not all hammers are jackhammers, and not all jackhammers are, well, jackhammers are banned anyways. And this is not and actually cannot become an assault weapon. But I do, well, it could. But I'd have to do very, very specific modifications that can't be undone. And then the first ATF agent that opens this thing up and says, you know, show me the guts, they'll know. Right then and there, this, this thing was converted somehow. I actually don't know how they know that, but it has something to do with tool markings. So that's what I know about it. Um, that's why my definition of assault weapon is so very specific. Automatic and or burst fire capable and detachable ma box magazine. Detachable magazine fed. Oh no, that's a machine gun. No, 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 because a machine gun is something that can be continuously fed. 
The first machine gun, think about this very carefully, was during the Civil War. It was the Gatling, right? This is a universally accepted fact, except for one guy on another channel who doesn't push the issue either. Okay, well, the Gatling was meant to put down a lot of little bullets very quickly over a continuous period of time, as opposed to grape shot, which would put out one big chunk of small shots over a very wide area, but only one time. It could only do that one at a time. Gatlins were meant to continuously fire. I mean, continuously fire they did. There's actually a little lever system in the feed tray that allows you to switch back and forth between the the two lines. And it works very well. Fill one line while the other's running, wait for this line to run out, switch it, and you can keep firing until literally your arms fall off. Or your barrels explode. That could happen. Never heard of it, but that could happen. Um. Why do I make this distinction? Well, first of all, back in the 19-teens, World War I era, there was no distinction. If it could continuously fire under any circumstances, it was considered a machine gun. But the technology changed. It changed very rapidly in four years. Six years, excuse me. Um, by the end of the war, we actually had the first assault weapons, and I'm not talking about submachine guns. Actually, the first one was Russian design, the Fedorov, I believe. Um, and we really do need to make sure that as we go forward, we don't create more of this kind of confusion. Have one definition and something that can stand the test of time. And before you comment... And I'll know if you watched the whole video before you commented. <clears throat> uh, intermediate cartridge. Yes, I understand that a 5.56 and a 30 caliber, like the M1 Grand, are two very <laughs> different categories. But nobody can give me a definition for the battle rifle versus an intermediate cartridge. They can stand the test of time. I'm sorry, you can't do it. There was a proposal that, based on uh, effective range, but if you take 10%, I think it was, out of a 30 cal, all of a sudden you're in that effective range zone. Meanwhile, you've got intermediate cartridges that have much longer ranges than some of the battle rifles. I'm sorry, it just does not stand the test of time. Worse still is you could get around that using that same sporting language or some other term that you invent out of thin air. For the record, I continue to believe that unless you're one of the 14 categories, you should be required to carry a weapon and should actually be required to have one of these in your home. Maybe not on your person, in your car, fine, in your home, okay, on your person. It's, uh, it, the name is mandatory carry. What are you going to ask me to do? S suddenly say no? It's not going to happen, Tim. So keep calm and mandatory carry on.